So we are about to try this coffee. Inshallah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There's this spot here on the mall called Cafe Moment. Cafe Moment. And in this spot, they have a variety of coffee, including Arabic coffee, Arabic kahwa. We're going to try this now, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here is Cafe Moment. Cafe Moment here in Mecca. MashaAllah. More of how this place is designed inside. And here we have a coffee bar. Menu of Cafe Moment. And as you guys can see here, they have a combination of coffee. And many of this coffee and also tea, right? And uh, they are very familiar. Like here we have cappuccino, something very familiar uh, to us in the West. Uh, flat white, white coffee. We have piccolo latte, we know what latte is. Americano, they have espresso, they have Spanish coffee, right? They also have Spanish cold coffee. Um, so I guess that's two different types, style. Uh, they have mocha, we know mocha, right? And as we move all the way down on their menu, something that you're gonna notice is this section here and here of course we can hear meaning for this which is 49 rial saudi rial and in dollar this is about 49 dollars about 13 dollars something like that right it's a whole set right um 49 rial um 33 calories, Saudi coffee. Now, we came here for this, we're gonna try this for sure. But, as you guys already know, this is not going to be enough. Of course, we have to try something else. So something that we're looking for, right after this Saudi Arabic coffee, is the Turkish coffee. The Turkish coffee. We're gonna try this right after, okay? Right after we try the Saudi coffee, we're gonna try this one here. And we're gonna see how it tastes. Very important. So we have our first piece here brought to us. Guys, right, so here we got the bakur, which is pretty much just a scented, a scented coal, which they burn. And it gives off a really good smell. And even if you if you see there, it's red. It's a little bit red, so it's it's already hot. Even you can feel the heat there. And they're gonna light it, and it's gonna blow out some smoke. And we got our cups here. It's a little nice uh, decorated decorated cups. And then we got our dates. Dates. We got our dates, glazed dates with honey, mm. and then we got our tahina. Tahina. Tahina, which is, I believe, sesame paste. Sesame paste, right? Yeah, sesame seed paste. Yeah, so this is mainly made of sesame seed paste. You see it right now. It's pretty much, it's pretty much a savory. Wow. And you can see Ooh, he light it up. And he put the, the coffee there too. Kahwa. Wow. Right now, he's adding the scent, 
trying this now yeah so this is the way that they pour it in Saudi hopefully I don't mess this up mm. wow we're gonna try this this is my first time ever visiting a place where they put perfume bahur bahur right right in front of your face like i have to like come straight to my face like i can smell it right so we're about to try this coffee Ooh. uh and we can see it the color is different it's not a regular coffee that we have in back in the west i have to be very honest with you but this is different right that they put perfume in your face and you can see the smoke coming to it the smoke is gonna be all over your face right and the way they put like the teapot filled with coffee right in the middle, that makes a huge difference. Now let's try this. Smell wow. Wow. Yo, this is lit. Oh, snap. Wow. It tastes different though, but it's coffee, right? Coffee. Wow. Wow. I don't know what it's doing here and I'm not gonna say this is magic but this is something else like yo look at this color right again it's just not the same but the flavor is just different and I can see that they added a combination of flavor to this coffee of course it's Arabica Arabica um, seed you can taste some spice and some cardamom, right? You can taste the cardamom. Wow, which is unique. You know that I noticed here? It's the dates. It's the dates. These dates, they have honey. You can see that they added honey. You can see the honey or train right there honey they shower the day with honey and let's try this now again here we have the tahini tahini we're gonna try the tahini with the dates this is how they eat it here right we put the date inside this combination right this combination it gives it a nice flavor it's like a nice um sweet and savory mix at the same time alhamdulillah mm. so now we just received the turkish coffee we're gonna try this all right you can see that right there it's like the it's like the crema the crema you know <laughs> crema. Mm. It looks so dark. Cafe de Tetumpia, Turkish. Okay, so we're gonna try this. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be something nice. I haven't tried this, and I'm already saying it's gonna be something nice. I don't know, it's just. Mm. 
this coffee it has a very similar look to the coffee that we already used to in the west it's dark it's from turkey and you guys already saw the difference between this one and uh, the arabic one it looked like 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 gold it had a gold color look this one looked very dark we're gonna try it it's been like It tastes both. It has a very bold flavor. Wow. A very bold flavor. Tastes very similar to Spanish coffee and the coffee that we have in America. Alhamdulillah. Something I'm gonna say is super caffeinated. It's like a, like a caffeine punch. And caution, caution. Just a quick warning, right? Because you see me drinking all of this, just be aware that coffee is diuretic, so it can make you go to the bathroom a lot. Just take cautions when you're drinking this if you ever come here. Or whenever wherever you go and drink coffee. This is how it is, but I recommend you to try Saudi coffee, right? And also Turkish coffee. Wow. There's nothing better than a nice cup of coffee. Nothing. I'm telling you nothing. I enjoy my coffee. I'm a tea fanatic and I'm a coffee fanatic. I love caffeine punch when they eat you in the feet. Boom. But I also love flavor, smoothness, right? With a nice caffeine hit. And that's something that you're gonna get when you drink the, the Arabic Saudi coffee. Wow, mashallah. So I'm gonna give you guys my last birthday when it comes to these two coffees. First and foremost, I'll give um, this Saudi coffee, a 10 out of 10, is recommended. If I had to give anything beyond that, let's say 15, 20, I will. But you know, just to keep it standard, 10 out of 10, amazing. And moving next, the Turkish coffee. Very nice, smooth um, flavor. I will give this coffee a nice 10 out of 10. Again, this is recommended. It's like going to Morocco, not trying Moroccan tea. This is something that's gonna make your day. I'm telling you, uh, nothing better than this. Do not forget to subscribe and click and hit the like button. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your support 